Welcome back to the Breakdown with Luke. Today we're going to be taking a look at Anchor's massive 90,000 milliamp battery pack with 288 watt out, 300 watt solar charging on this. This is a massive battery pack here meant to make sure you have power on the go or the reason I got it for an emergency. As we've seen with all the recent storms and weather and all kinds of things happening, blackouts, extended ones can still happen in the United States. And we are being prepared by having this. With my job being so much online, this is powerful enough to charge my laptops, phones, all kinds of stuff and keep me running for a considerable period of time if the power does go out. We'll be covering the pros and cons of this, talk about a few important things you need to know about it and more here in a quick second. First though, a few disclaimers. This was not a review unit. I actually bought it for my own personal use and I'm gonna review here for you. Second, pricing on this changes so rapidly, I hate to give you a price and have it be wrong. I'll put a link to this in the show notes and in the first pinned comment on Amazon if you wanna find out current pricing. Second, if you like what we do, please consider hitting that subscribe button, hitting that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here so YouTube recommends our videos to more people. But that's it, let's dive into it. Start off with the actual battery pack itself. As you see, tons of charging ports. You do have a few options for in. You have two USB-Cs here, so you can actually charge this like 200 plus watts in from two separate USB C chargers at once. You have a solar input panel here. So if you have a solar panel with this connector, you can do that direct or from a solar panel with USB C on this. I was testing this out from about 30% to full on a 30 watt charger, it would take about seven hours. Um, but if you plug in two 100 watts, they say about 80% charge in about an hour. It does have a nice display. There's even a Bluetooth capability here to connect it to your phone to get all kinds of information about power usage, recharging, and the like. There is a, uh, I always call these the cigarette lighter. The circular little chargers that you get in cars are also built into this. But you can charge a lot of things. Five different out charging ports at once with 140 watts through two, through a possible USB-C on this, which is really nice to do most laptops. It also has the ability here to have a light that you can use um, to be able to operate as a lantern to light your house in extent of uh, extended power outage. Let's take a look at everything that came with this. I'm gonna talk about a few pros and cons with it. Starting off with number one, important, I, I will get this question. Can you fly with this? No, this does not meet the requirements to fly. <laughs> one, it's very heavy. This is a um, quite a heavy thing, not something you're gonna wanna just throw in your backpack and carry around all day with you. Um, so keep that in mind, but what can you expect from this? This is a crate like all week charger. You can easily get 10 to 20 charges on many phones out there with this, which is the reason I'm getting it. I'm gonna um, charge this, put it in our emergency kit and just keep an eye on it. That If we run into problems, we have it there. We have solar um, panels that I can charge this through in case of an emergency. And then when after it charges, I'll take it in um, store it, may use this at night to recharge phones, laptops, and other devices, helping me keep continue to do my work, keep connected, and keep informed of what's happening in the world around me if there would be, happen to be a massive power outage. A few important things, there is a lot to know here with it. Again, you cannot fly with it. It does clearly mark which ports you will uh, be able to use. Three USB-Cs offer 20 watts or higher. One is um, locked under 20 watts. Only two of the USB-C ports allow you to recharge the device. If you make the mistake I did and just shove a USB-C to start charging it and a minute later you look and you realize, oh, it needs to go in the one next to it, make sure to look at the descriptions for each USB-C port. They clearly say how much wattage and which ones can be used for recharging. There is no wall charger included with this. You need to supply your own. Higher the wattage, the better. Like I said, I tested this on a 30 watt charger. From 30% to 100% would have taken over seven hours of recharging. If you're charging it overnight, or maybe you're charging it through the day to use it overnight, that's fine. But if you need a rapid charge, you're gonna to wanna to use something a little faster. Overall, everything worked as it should. It successfully max charged my Lenovo Yoga laptop, which is a 100 watt USB-C laptop, Pixel 9, Nintendo Switch, um, iPad, wireless earbuds, and more, no problem. Even though it has this ability to go really high in wattage, if your device is a lower wattage, it will still work without issues. This is really great as an emergency backup battery pack or if you're boondocking and you wanna make sure you have power in case of an emergency out boondocking, it's not bad. Would not recommend trying to carry this around in a backpack, it's quite heavy. 
So overall, two thumbs up, would recommend. I'll put a link in the show notes and in the first pinned comment. If I didn't happen to answer one of your questions, leave it. I'd love to help you out and try to answer your questions there. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. We'll be back again with another review real soon.